Jump has always supported many commonly used date and time formats, but there are now an infinite number of other possibilities. It's no longer necessary to manipulate data with unsupported formats into something Jump recognizes. Now you can define a custom format. They can be used for input or reading or output in tables and graphs. To demo this, I'll paste a raw date into a new column. I'll right click and select column info. I'll change the data type to numeric, the modeling type to continuous, and under format type, I'll scroll down and select format pattern. And here's where it gets interesting. We can change the input and the output. The default is to use the input, same as the output. For this example, I'm going to adjust both. Under the user input format area, I'll deselect use output format. Once we select the format pattern button, a edit format pattern window will come up where we can paste in our string or our pattern if we have it. However, there's a preview available under and as we scroll through these options, I can actually build the string of what is coming through as far as the input goes. So I'm going ahead and building the string, the day. This one does not have a year. I'm doing the abbreviated month. Then I'm going to be doing the time. I'm choosing hour and 24 hour segment. Then I'm going to be doing the minutes and the seconds. I'm also adding a colon between each of these tags here in the field above. Now that the input's done, I'm going to go ahead and set the format pattern for the output, and that I already have done. I know what output I want all of my data to be in, so I went ahead and set that, and I get that preview there. I select OK, and in this one, I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. You'll see it change in the data table, and then I'm going to select OK. So that's it. If you have any questions, visit community.jump.com.